Welcome, everybody. It's Sue, and I'm so I've got the habit of saying gratitude cafe, but we've got to move on. I mean, it's still full of love and gratitude. That hasn't changed. Uh, we are just evolving and moving into my passion and what I teach. Of course, gratitude is a big part of that, uh, but or and it's also about us getting clear and truly reclaiming, rediscovering, redesigning our our authentic and genuine self, and bringing guests to teach and educate from all different backgrounds and modalities, because it is about that education and learning. It's, it's, it's new thoughts, new perspective, new ideas. And I want to give you that kind of squeaky wheel. So if there's something that resonates with you, great. If there's something that irritates you even better, because I want you thinking and processing and integrating all these great new guests and information and teachings that I provide as well. I'm going to remind all of you, if you want to get a copy of the show, all you got to do is go to claritywithsue.com and click on that link. There's a pop-up. It'll pop up and you just sign up for the newsletter. I send out a newsletter once a week. You'll get all the links to all the social media. Speaking of which, SoundCloud, iTunes, all the podcast world that we evolved to after our live broadcast, please go on there and give us a five, six, eight, ten 10 star rating uh, and keep us live on air. I love it. And I'd love to hear from you. I know I have, I've got a huge international uh, base and calling, is it calling or base listenership? Where there we go. It? Sure. There it is. Yeah, that works. Uh, listenership. And I know that some of you, um, in fact, I just talked to Australia yesterday, and I know that you guys are a day ahead. And I want to say hi to you. Thank you so much for listening. Canada, all my peeps in Canada, across the world, in America, Arizona, all of you. I love you. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, so that is it in the nutshell, basically. Hi, Benny. Hi, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> All right. So you know what? We are going to jump in. Yeah. Astro numerology. I have a really fascinating conversation coming up and a guest. And it is Jesse Casas. I just did it again. Cas why is That's there right. somebody that wants to call in and his last name Casali? I am so sorry, Benny. I, I even repeat it over and over. It could be Smith and I could mess it up for goodness <laughs> sakes. Got to write it down next time. What is this? What is this? It's all in love. Okay. Let me go to the bio and then we are going to bring Jesse on because I want like everything else. I want you guys to get to know his energy, what he's doing, why he's doing this. And he specializes in, this is really curious to me. It's the residential and business numerology, which is super curious. I'm really, I really want to dive into this um, and provides valuable insight on the power of numbers and that, how they affect our lives. His latest book, The Power of Home Numbers and all about the numbers. He combines his Eastern upbringing with his Western experience to bring awareness and understanding of the phenomenon. The past, over the past 20 years, Jesse has consulted thousands of people and has affected their lives positively. His clients include prominent business people, extremely successful uh, communication and entertainment companies. You know, I could go on. This, this is a beautiful, long, gorgeous bio, but again, I want to hear from you because you've got a wealth of background. I mean, from a state broker, aviation. Can I just let you roll with that, Jess? Sure. Yay! Uh, yeah. So I, you know, I came to the States uh, many, many years ago. It's about 19, 1988, that time. And it's been a while here. And then like, um, you know, like most immigrants, we had a share of challenges, you know. And so when I came to the States, you know, I had some very basic knowledge about numbers and numerology, and I was facing a lot of challenges. Like most people do come to a new country, you know, you, you have to, uh, you know, work through a lot of challenges. And then, yeah, so I had some very basic uh, information about numbers and numerology at that time. And, and I wasn't into it at all. I was more busy trying to get my commercial pilot's license. I thought I'll be a flight instructor, which I was later for a little while. And then I switched to real estate and things like that. As I feel the universe kept nudging me, you know, I mean, something kept telling me, you know, listen to us, listen to us as a new country. You know, listen. So that's listening, right? Mm -hmm. 
and then and then gradually you know as uh, as time progressed you know and as i moved forward in my journey in this country you know this this energy of numbers kind of became stronger and stronger see the tradition that i practice is called astro numerology it's you know it's it's numerology a step up which is so which also has an association with energies and energies of planetary energies is what i want to say Ooh. so okay. like so what happens is, you know, like here in the West, you, the numerologists all over the world, you have a Chinese tradition, you have some in America, you have the Greeks, you have the Hebrews, you have all kinds of, and then up in the Far East from where I come from. So, you know, they'll add numbers up straight and then say, okay, five plus this is this, and then this is this, right? So it goes, like, but what, but in the Eastern tradition, the Vedic tradition that I follow, right, we have an association with numbers and planetary energy. Let's say, for example, you know, number one has the energy of sun or nine is Mars or six is Venus or five is Mercury. So basic numbers from one to number nine. And then we have a, a, a planetary energy with each number, you know. So now say, for example, you can cons you consult with me, right? And I, and I look at your date of birth or whatever numbers and I say, hey, Sue, uh, number six is a good number for you. And so, Well, uh, what if my birthday is today? It is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did someone say it's their birthday? Yeah. Oh, so happy <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, three twenty-two of twenty twenty-two. Two, 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 right. two, two, two's. So, Power numbers. Oh, it is. It is three twenty-two. Uh, that's interesting. So you're an Aries, huh? That's I am. I yeah. well, Aries, Pisces, cusp. For yeah, sure. Pisces, cusp. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So uh, Mars. So you got a lot of Sun and Neptune energy. So very intuitive. Very intuitive. We've got number ones and sevens work with you really well. And um, so one and seven is Sun and uh, Neptune. And what that tells me is that, you know, your, your residence, you know, your residence should face the rising sun at all times. In the easterly direction is very important for you. Wearing a ruby and gold. Ruby, ruby and gold? Yeah. Ruby and gold is very good for you. And that's the energy of sun. And, and then you can also wear a cat's eye. Oh, cat's eye. Cat's okay. Eye. Now that I don't know what, what is the number outside your house, but uh, I mean, you know, we can always look at that later. I mean, well, guess it, what? It adds up to the number 22. It does? It does. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to? I'll type it here. We don't need to give it out loud. Okay. There. Can you see it in the? Yeah, I, I got it. I got it. Yeah. yeah. But it, I didn't really. So 22 has always been this magical number for me. I mean, obviously, it's my birth date, yeah, 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 but yeah. it just pops up uh -huh. in synchronicities. And then. Oh. Interesting. Okay. When oh, I yeah. bought this house, we yeah. added up the. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. So, uh, so the energy of sun, like I said, uh, then the, the easterly direction is really good for you, and uh, and the number ones and the number sevens, and 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 then the rest of it, and then we, you know, I haven't looked at your name vibration really, but uh, uh, six and uh, six uh, Sue is your popular name, right? Sue. So six and three, nine and five is. 14 so mercury energy mercury is kind of communication is what you're doing right now and um yeah and then the last name as well uh then lighter colors you know the lighter colors of uh would work well with you even the color red a slight touch of red would also work well with you should avoid driving riding or driving black cars you know no black cars. <laughs> black cars. So a few things like that. And then what happens is then we go deeper. We, you know, we look at everybody in the house and their energies. And then the business was the name of the business where you do your business. You know, the gemstones and the cars and your phone numbers and your, and your bank account numbers. And, and then social security numbers, well, they can't change, right? They are, they are there forever. But they have a definite impact on our lives, though, social security numbers, right? Really? The energy? and Oh, what? yeah. Yeah. See, the reason, Sue, is this, right? See, these numbers are alive. They're alive, right? They're vibrating. I, I believe all that is alive. Yes. It's alive, yeah. It's vibrating. Yeah. Let's say, for example, like you gave me a house number and 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 had a, and had I suggested or you know, soon or use another number, which is say number six or whatever number, right? Put a number six there. And then and so you you do that. So what that means is you've got the energy of number six vibrating instantly. You know, that's how we number patch it. So, you know, I have people who come to me all the time. I've done this for many years. And, you know, they live in different numbers, you know, and then, so I don't tell them go sell your house every time. No, we try to find a, a like a small patch or a shift to correct the energy, right? To move the energy on the door. So they attract a better flow or something changes positively, right? Yeah. Positive shift, right? 
each time. <clears throat> so that's how we use these numbers, you know, uh, to, to benefit people, you know, to kind of make a slight shift, to make things a little better. You know how it is, make life a little better. But yes, but they are. And it's, it's, a, it's a healing modality too. It's an education. It's absolutely. It's a huge healing modality. So the, the science is not, it's not predictive. I won't call it predictive. It's more about harmonizing energy. You know, we, so what happens is we look, we start from your basic numbers, which is your data word, right? Starts from there. We pick the best vibrations from there and the rest is fine tuning. We fine tune your name, your, you know, whatever is around you, all, all energies around you using numbers, you try to fine tune them, right? Yeah. Uh, harmonize the energy, right? Like people say, oh, what is my lucky number? What? So your lucky numbers are only the numbers that vibrate with your date of birth. They are the, your only lucky numbers, right? And those numbers have certain time periods in a year when they will flow. So like uh, we all have our time, a season in a year, right? Up and down, up and down. So your luck's going to come in that time only. It's not like, you know, you're not lucky every day. You know, you should understand. Well, I, I want to be lucky. I desire to be <laughs> lucky every day. <laughs> Yeah, but you can be generally lucky, you know, generally lucky. <laughs> and have at least at least that mindset. I am oh, lucky. The, the practicality yes, of it. I understand. That mindset is absolutely essential. Yes. I agree with you. Yeah, I agree with you. So with you. your perfect client, talk to me about just walk me through that. I know that you gave me a, a beautiful little blessing with my numbers and mm. eastern direction and ruby and gold, mm. cat's eye, red, lighter colors in the car, which I've always yeah. had. Kind of walk me through because you've you've got some pretty high profile clients that you've had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all kinds, all kinds, yeah, celebrities, right? Yeah, all kinds of people. You know, I have uh, you know very some very famous celebrities. And you know, of course, I can't give you the names though, but they're very high profile and they're known globally. You know, big people, big names. You know, and uh, we consult with them, and uh, and they have powerful numbers. You know, they have. Um, they have used the energy very, but that still doesn't mean that they don't have their challenges. You know, they have all kinds of situations and personal challenges and a whole bunch of stuff keeps happening all the time to them as well. But that's know? human, right? That's, yeah, that's, yeah. The human yeah. aspect is always there with all. Always. The, you know, yeah. The 3D humanness. That's why yeah, we're yeah. doing this and educating to give the tools, yeah, yeah. right? So to just to say, oh, so-and-so is, uh, you know, so wealthy and he has no problems. That is not true. You know, all have their challenges. It doesn't matter at what level you are, you know. All have our all kinds of personal challenges, health challenges, you know, um, you know, career challenges. Even when they reach reach a certain position, or they're still struggling to, you know, uh, do better or try to, you know, get better roles or get better films or uh, struggling with their relationships. I mean, all kinds of challenges are there, you know. So I yeah I do a lot of that work. You know, I work with a lot of people in in, in the film industry in India. I work with people here in Hollywood as well. And then, I ha- and then I also have a lot of business people, you know, the startup companies here. I live in the Silicon Valley here. And they're over the years had many startup companies, you know, people, you know, these people, a lot of people come from India and they have, you know, startup startups, right? They have a startup and let's look at the name, this name. So what they typically do, they last four or five people, right? And then I, they come to me as well to check the name vibration, right? How do you then, do that with like the name vibration, like Clarity with Sue? I mean, how, it, it, and if it's Silicon Valley, walk me through that. What do you mean? Yeah. So, so clarity with Sue, what happens is you know, it'll take a little while to come in. So we use a code, you know, it's like the Kildian. Kildian code goes from number one to number eight. And it has a letter association with it. You know? with the no- okay. And yeah, so that's so, so. But I use the Kildian code. I don't use the Pythagorean or the Greek or the other code, right? The I what use the code? Kildian, C-H-A-L-D-E-A-N. Okay. Kildean. Yeah, that code. It's, it's online. You can get it online. It's on the internet. And so that's that's the code I use for, for letters and word asso- number association. And so you can use that, but then that is also very complicated, right? So even if you apply that to your numbers and come on to a set of numbers, right? Then there's another sequence that follows below it, you know, because those energies also have to be compatible, whatever you deduce from there. And then, and then they have to work with that kind of business as well. You know, there's a lot of small, small things that have to be fine. Oh, no, you're you're speaking my life. It's the same with evidential mediumship or intuition, too. You know, there's all different kinds of levels Levels, that I go through. Levels, energy, variations, you know, it's all, it's all the quantum soup, right? And it's- Yeah, 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 exactly. That's a good word, quantum soup, yeah. Yeah. So so that's how it works, you know, and then- uh, uh, but, but the good thing is, you know, it's, it's all about, uh, you know, when people come back and tell you, hey, this happened or that happened, you know, and that's what you wait for, right? You want. Positive, Isn't that awesome? I love clarity. it when they call back. Yeah. 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 And then there, I mean, and, and then the women, you know, women like, you know, a lot of gems and jewelries and crystals and all that, right? 
you know, they, they're very fond of all that. But men are too. So, uh, you know, wearing the right kind of gems and crystals and jewelry is very, very important, right? I, I, I don't, don't have that. anything on right now. Yeah, yeah, you'll soon have a ruby though. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Bring it. That'd be very good for you. So, um, so, so those crystals and all those energies are very, very important right now. Now, see, now women have to realize that a diamond does not work for everybody. You know, it's more Venus energy. <laughs> <laughs> time. The other stones can also work just as well, depending on how your energy attracts. Right. You. Yeah. So these things have to be kept in mind all the time. And then there's something called as Rudraksha beads. You know, they are these small beads. Of, uh, they're actually fruit seeds that grow in the mountains of the Himalayas. Yes. I wonder you, you know about those, right? Yes, I've got I've got a mala at home. I've got two of them. That's the authentic. Uh, they are the authentic bead. Yeah. And um that was blessed. I, I can't remember. I got them a few years ago. And isn't it true with the malas? You're not supposed to use your, your first finger. You're supposed to use the second yeah, or yeah, the yeah, third. Yeah, yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go so ahead. Ha- Please tell yeah, me. So, yeah. so what happens is these beads are very, well, they, they have, they carry a certain frequency, you know, so these beads are found in the mountain ranges of the Himalayas and some come from Indonesia as well. But the real, Indonesia, that's where mine came from. Yeah, okay, the, yeah. Indonesia or the Himalayas. You know? yeah. So the energy that comes from the Himalayas is very, very strong. So you see the human body, you know, it, it, it vibrates at a frequency about eight to nine joules, right? It's about there. But these, some of these beads have a frequency of like 150 joules, you know? Can you imagine? It's so high. Wow. So what it, and you're do, wearing it. So your frequency. Yeah. So how does your body amazing. acclimate, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is just shift. And so basically what happens is it lifts you up, right? To attract high, bigger and better. See, it, you know, it picks you up. It will connect you with bigger and better. You see how it is? It'll, the aura is lifted up. You see, yes. it's picked up. So they are those beads. That, there's one that I wanted to talk to you about. There's several that I like, but there's one for, for women especially, and I can give you a secret. It's the 18 faceted, one eight. It's the 18 faceted Rudraksha bead. And this 18 faceted is so powerful. You know, so, so women have women have very complex, you know, they have to, you know, grow and they have to give birth, Arms, a whole bunch babies. of stuff, yeah, all these challenges. So yeah. this bead, it works on the root chakra. It works in the root chakra and it is, and root is the foundation basically. And that, that's where you want the strongest frequency, right? The highest energy. And it, it's known to heal all kinds of, you know, challenges. I mean, health challenges that women have, you know, it's kind of clean it up. It's like that. Nice. It's so powerful. And it, and it keeps you grounded. And then the other thing is, where does money come from? Money comes from the root chakra. And well, so that's the creativity. That's where yeah, everything starts. Opens up, right? And then there you go. It'll bring in a lot of uh, money and real estate and opportunity and, pro- and it's like endlessly to go, right? Bring yeah. it, bring yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah. it's called, it's the 18 faceted breed. You are bead. Yeah. yeah, 18 faceted Rudraksha bead, you know? And I, I'm very fond of that one. So I thought I'd share it with the viewers. Thank you. It'd be really beneficial, really. And even for those people who have started getting into a new business, you know, a new business, they can try the 18 faceted, you know, they can even wear it around the neck in a gold chain or, you know, it works for them. You say 18 faceted, what's the difference? It's, unpack that for me. What do you mean? It, it, it has the cuts in it, you know, it is 18. Is oh, the gotcha. Okay. Cuts. Okay. I'm yeah. following now. Yeah, 18 faceted. So, and there's sources from where you can get a genuine one with a certificate, right? But so just like I said, they have very high frequency, right? And you, if you wear one of those with you, right? You just feel the shift. Maybe I need that with my ruby. Oh, yeah. Ooh, be fantastic. Yeah. Bring it, universe. Bring it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, gonna my come now. it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to come. And imagine it's coming on your birthday. How this information is incredible. It's incredible. I love it. I yes. And I love having this conversation. And it is healing. Okay. Yeah. So you had, I'm going to swing back around to your, your story of why, because yeah. it is, it's that little, spiritual awakening or it's the universe i call it gus god universe source yeah, spirit yeah, right yeah. and god to me is g-a-w-d whatever it is to you it could be purple chopsticks mm. if it if it creates that connection with the universal energies and and yeah, you yeah. are a loving individual to people that's great go there so where yeah, i'm going yeah. with this is yeah your why you still you had that just talking to you and 
because you've, you've come from a vast, completely different background with aeronautics and flying planes. And then, well, I suppose aeronautics and flying planes, there's a lot of numbers in there, but I, I not quite yeah, the same, it's, right? Uh, it's a, it's a different, uh, it's a, I mean, see, flying planes is something, you know, it's like, it's either you have it or you don't have it. It's very simple. You know, oh, you hopefully everybody who's doing it has it. <laughs> yeah, of course they have it, right? That's why they're licensed to fly those planes, right? Yes. Otherwise, yeah. So it's 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 it's, it's a great experience, but that's what I realize that it's uh, you know there it picks you up, and then I don't know what it, but for me, I, I think it was a fascinating experience, and that's why I came to America to learn to fly. Right. I'm so lucky, you know. I'm, I'm I'm so lucky to be in this country, and I'm I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful to America. But whatever I wanted to do, you know, I. I got it here, you know. Can you imagine? Yeah. Anything and everything. Whatever I got, there's some ch channels open up, and I'll find the right resources. People like to like you were sitting today, right? Or for my book writing, or this, or that. I mean, it just keeps from here or there. It'll just slip into me, you know. Wow, and, uh, I love that. And, wow. and the big part of that gift is you being in receiver mode too, because so many times that these beautiful gifts come to our awareness and we're like, oh no, that was too easy. And then we don't see it or we don't yeah. receive it. Yeah, right? exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. So, and then, um, so, so and then, you know, so it's money, you know, so how do we, you know, be more financially abundant, right? That is also yes. a very important thing that, yeah, we need to have a lot of, you know, of course we all need to have a lot of money so you can live happily, but at the same time you can help others too, right? That is the Well, it's a freedom. It's a mindset about yeah. having the freedom to yeah. do what you want to your desires and to yeah. be of service and help people, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So um, what do you, when you're talking to a business owner, like whether it's Clarity with Sue or XYZ in Silicon Valley, mm -hmm. how do you have that conversation uh, and kind of set the foundation for their success within the, the numbers of their organization. So what happens is, uh, it's very interesting. I'm looking at the sign right behind you, it says 11.50 a.m. And I already said earlier, seven is one of your lucky numbers. So it's right there. It's got two ones there too with communication. So there you go. So that's one answer for you. This is a good station for you. How long have you been here? On this oh gosh, over 10 years. Benny yeah. and I've been doing, yeah. Excellent. Great. This, this, no, see, this, this flows for you. Yeah. You're, you're going to be here for, we got to figure out a way to, to make it really financially abundant. Yeah. Yeah. This Jesse, you got to help me with that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And then see, so what happens is, um, I, I, what I would do is you, I, I know your numbers, right? Your numbers you showed me earlier. And I would, what I would do is I would use a small number two sticker somewhere, you know? number two in the numbers okay so we want more moon energy because you have a lot of sun energy so we want to balance yin and yang sun and moon energy so that number two in there would, uh, would definitely shift it then your uh see the place where your office is from where you broadcast right it should be in the northwest part of your space of your resident of your northwest space. spot okay so okay you, you can check that I can later. broadcast from anywhere in the world yeah yeah, Benny's, well, we're both in Seattle right now, um, but where you're saying wherever I'm at to make sure I'm in the northwest yes. corner. Uh, yeah, or, and then you should always face, you in the northwest corner is one place, or or if you're somewhere else, doesn't matter, just face, face the northeasterly direction all the time. Face east or northeast in your case. You see that energy is the energy of number one, sun energy, right? That, like I said earlier, Seattle again has the energy of uh, Neptune, which is number seven, right? So that again is very good for you. How long have you been in Seattle? Well, I was in Seattle for over 40 years. And a year ago, August, Gus said, you're moving to Bend, Oregon. So mm -hmm. I bought a house and that's the number I gave you uh -huh. that serendipitously appeared. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. That needs a little patch, but you can just put a number two there and that'll, that'll shift it. So um, that'll shift it, yeah. So then, but the least you could do is, you know, just make sure where you're broadcasting from, you know, face the east to the northeasterly direction. Okay. We do that. Just do that. And uh, just do that. Broadcast from the northeast or e northeast or eastern corner, right? Yeah. Or, and okay. face that direction. I mean, you sit on the chair, face that direction to north, east or northeast. You can use your compass maybe at some point. <laughs> <laughs> so that would help. But I really like the logo, the 11.50 AM and all that. That's really good for you. It's working really well for you to stick with it. 
Thank you. No, you're going to find no credit card needed there. Bring bring the money in abundance. We got to yeah, yeah. turn yeah, the yeah. ROI. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's so, been a great service, you know, to be able yeah. to. I've inc- I've had incredible thought leaders mm-hmm. that I've been able to present, like yourself, mm-hmm. and bring to the airways. Mm-hmm. And it, and I've learned so much, and yeah. it's just it's been beautiful. I've I really enjoyed it. Eighteen. So you should you know find that eighteen, like I mentioned earlier, and get one for yourself. 18 18 faceted rudraksha gotcha. bead okay where th- that will open that'll be huge for you it'll be and it'll keep going endlessly you know it's like go 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 it won't stop you know and uh, and just wear that in a little you know in a gold chain you know okay with a gold chain uh, cap it in gold wear it in gold the sources that'll create it for you make sure you have a little certificate with where you buy it from and uh, and then that's it and that's one one time and buy you know for the rest of your life and that, and just imagine your frequency, you right from maybe nine jewels to over a hundred would be fantastic, right? I would, I'm, I'm, do you have a site that you rely, that you would recommend? Because I don't want to just go Google it yeah. and not know if it's really authentic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, got it, got it. Yeah. There's some, yeah, there's some sources in India. I know I can, I can give it to you later. No problem. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah, I can do that. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that, that is it. That'll, that is all you need for money, you know? And it'll be very good. It'll just uh, launch you, and it'll be fantastic. It'll be really good. Um, seven. Then there's another one. It's called the seven faceted. Seven faceted is also very good. A lot of people will wear a seven faceted, but they wear that. You know, it comes in small beads too. You can wear a little bead in your left hands. Seven uh, seven faceted Rudraksha bead. You know, can be worn in the left hand, and in a little bracelet. You know. They yeah, come in the small beads, you know, and those are also very good for money. You know, they work very well on the heart chakra area. Oh, also uh, very good for money, very good for money long run. Yeah, and uh, very good. See what, what I've realized with gemstones, I mean, they're powerful, good, but has, they have to be the right energy to pick them carefully. But these beads, I know over a period of time, their energy is guaranteed. You know, they are, you don't have to okay. worry about anything. You know, they come tested right and they work endlessly. Hmm. Nice. Uh, what have you got on your wrist? What are these here? What have I got? Oh, I have. Uh, I'm. I'm wearing. A, I, I've got a little bit of gold here. I got a. Oh, you know, beautiful. From this one here. I, this I got when I came to America 30 years ago. You know, I bought it from a gem show. Yeah. That's wow. Yeah, yeah. And your gold, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I like a lot of gold. Yeah. Yes. Gold okay. is high energy. Gold is high frequency. You know, it protects you from a lot of negative stuff. You know, it protects you. Okay. And it's softer than silver, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's yeah. it's more powerful. Yeah. Okay, you know what, Jesse? We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we're going to still be live on YouTube. So those of you in the radio world, we will be back in about three minutes. Those of you in YouTube, I'll remind all of you, just go to YouTube and type in 1150, and we're going to carry on with a three-minute conversation over there. And uh, we'll be right back. Cool. I'll clear you, too. Thank you, Benny. All right. We're still live on YouTube. So 18 faceted bead, and you're going to get me that link because yeah. I've, I've, I don't want to just go on yeah, there. And... I'll get you a source. Yeah. No yeah. That would be wonderful. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And gold and bring in my rubies. Yeah. Yeah. So talk you, to... one, one ruby is all you need. Just one. Uh-huh. Yeah. One on your right. Just saying, you know, and, and that should do it. And uh, yeah. That should do it. And and putting the frequency of belief and faith behind it too. Of so course, of course, you set the intention. Yeah, you set the intention and um, absolutely abundance. Yeah. yeah, abundance, and that's what the eighteen does. Eighteen is for abundance. Oh, okay. It, it is for abundance. Yeah. It's and for- is it abundance across? Because when I say abundance, it's across the whole board for me. Exactly. It's Intimacy, the whole board. financially, all Everything, of that, right? All of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's all of that. We'll be very, very happy with it. I have a gentleman I in the company that I deal with in India. I know they have a source. I buy from this gentleman here and he orders it from India for me. I'll give you his information. So, you know, he is, uh, he's up in the, the other, uh, the Eastern part and his name is Ashish. So he'll contact you. Okay. I'll give Do you, you, have, you have, you have my get, email right here. Yeah, I'll here yeah, email it to you. Okay. 
I'll do this again. I think you've got all of my email and stuff like that, yeah. but you can use this one. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, okay. We'll use that. So I want to remind all the audience about your book, The Power of Home Numbers and All About the Numbers. And are you still taking, are you open to private clients still? Or yes, where I do, I do. I have, I have, you know, a few a week you know, I take, I'm like, you're booked really, right? But I do take people, you know, I take clients. Okay. So you do have open spots because I know. Yeah, I do. I okay. Do. Yeah, Just, I do take clients. And, I do. and where's your website? Send them to your website. So, oh, so it's uh, it's Jesse, J-E-S-S-E, and then Kelsey, K-A-L-S-I. It's jessekelsey.com. And uh, yeah, so you can go there and you can connect with me. And yeah, of course, buy my book or the, the books, uh, both the books, this, this book, all about numbers and the earlier one, the power of home numbers, they're on my website and they're also available on Amazon. So you can, you know, check it out. And, uh, but there's one thing too, I want to indicate is that see, these books are not how to books. So they have a lot of information, right? Okay. You know, read them around the world. Right. But yeah. once in a while, the people who they say, I've got to interrupt. I've got to bring oh, you guys back on here. He's going to bring us back to live radio. All right. All right stand by. All right. Welcome back to the radio world podcast world. Hello. Thank you for joining us on YouTube. And if you're on the radio, not while you're driving, but if you want to go to YouTube, please do that. All you got to do is go to YouTube and type in 1150. Uh, great conversation. You know, the whole modality of numerology and, and, and Jesse, what you say is astro numerology yeah, right. and your latest book, The Power of Home Numbers and All About the Numbers. And, and during the break on YouTube, you started talking about what is in the book. It's not necessarily a how-to, but there's tons of really valuable transformational information in there. Exactly. Can you, want, can you chat about that and unpack that a bit for us? Yeah. So, you know, I, I often have, uh, you know, once in a while I have clients who will buy the book and say, you know, uh, how could we do it just the way you do it, you know? See, the thing is, I've been doing it for a long time, right? And, there's and so you've got your in... way, right? Yeah. And there's so much information, it's hard to put it in a book, right? So, for example, number passing. And number passing is my is my uh, trademark, number passing. Number and, passing. And number patching. Number oh, patching. patching. Okay. So, so th this is something that I've done over the years. You know, just like I was talking to you earlier. So, if you know, we look at properties and homes and, you know, and if the numbers are not flowing with the occupants of the house, then we... I normally suggest another number that is based on their own date of birth and planetary energy. So we shift the energy of the door using a small sticker, which is yellow or golden color. And I call it number patching. And we've done this extensively over the years, last 20 years, I've done it all over the place, you know, number patching. And then number patching is very tricky, right? It's, you just can't take a number and stick it because they're all planetary no. energies, right? Right. So be very careful. And so a lot of people wanted me to, you know, they want to get a handle on that one, but I cannot because there's so many combinations, right? <laughs> How can I tell you, right? Right. Just a human being like you, right? I whatever I got the idea and we're using it, right? And that's all I know, right? I don't know more than that. I'm just and, and it's being. a channel too, right? Yeah. I mean, it's something that you it's in the moment, right? Yeah. It's not like, oh, yeah. just put a three on the northeast yeah. corner. You know, no. it's not no, 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 it's not no, it's not it's, like that. No, it's very complicated, <laughs> right? Right. So, uh, yeah. So, so say, say, for example, you know, say Benny comes to me and says, hey, Jesse, what are my numbers? And I say, hey, Benny, your numbers are number six. And then he says, he goes shopping, right? He says, I'm looking for a house. And I, I, I bought this house and the house number is 4848. Uh, and he says, 4848 is a 1224, right? And that's a six, right, Jesse? I say, yeah, that's right. But that's not the right six because fours and eights, Uranus and Saturn, you know, when they come together, they said a sinking effect is not good energy at all. So, see, so you just added the numbers, right? You know, you just added the numbers and you've made a grave mistake. So that's how it is. And you just can't add them up and say, hey, I got the six. No. Right. You see, it's, I, I know if a, there's, a, there's an astrologer in this area where I live, I live now and I know what happened to him. He, had, he picked it up. Just, he picked a similar energy just like that. And he was, you know, what happened to him? I want to say, but. Uh, you know, it's very dangerous. So that's my point. So now say, for example, if he says, hey, Jesse, I found this number in the six, three, zero, zero, three. So Jupiter twice is very good on a six, right? Two threes is very good, right? Or say I found a number 24. That's again, is very good. Found right? a number. 
What do no, you like mean? Number, I, that I found a house number 24. Oh, okay. Got you. Right? Or like number, mine think, adds up to 22. I mean, you know, yours has, yeah. So, I mean, the energy has 22, but those planetary energy in there, those certain numbers in there are like a little, you know, have to be corrected with a certain vibration. Okay. You see? So, gotcha. so what? Correct away. Bring in yeah. the love and the abundance. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, we, so we, we uh, the reason I suggested a certain number two was because I wanted the yin and the yang. It had a lot of sun energy, sun and moon. I wanted to have the sun and moon. Sun together. and moon, yeah. So that's how that's how I suggested that one, and um, but that and that's definitely... a balance, right? It's 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 a it's harmony, a, harmonizing harmony, right? yeah, not yeah. balance because that that's that seems hard, but harmony is fluid. It's that yeah. motion, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, harmony but, is good. And then and then you know, uh, as well as you know, there's so much of you know, these relationships are a big thing. You know, they've always been and they always will be, right? You know, people falling in love and falling out of love, and then their numbers. So these number compatibilities are very important too. Oh, for individuals falling yeah. in love, or or Managers. business partnership, or everywhere, intimate yeah. partnership, everywhere, all kinds of relationships, right? See, typically, what happens is you have a lot of Saturn energy. You know, say for example, you have an eight date of birth, right, or even a four date of birth. I say eight more actually, and I'll say you know what? Don't get into partnerships. Business partnership, just be your own boss, do your own thing, right? But the, but what will happen is you always get attracted with people who get attracted to you. They want to be a partner, and many times you will have them as partners. And then that creates a lot of challenges, and as time goes. So so I, I say people have a lot of Saturn energy, you know, don't have business partners. Just grow by yourself, you know? So there are certain numbers can handle partnerships, but there are some that cannot, you gotcha. see? So, and, and, and the same applies to business partners, personal relationships as well, too. So there's certain relationships and they look so nice outside and, but the moment they kind of come closer and then this, what happened, you know? Right. Can't, doesn't stick, right? So, so that's what that is, you know? But, but, mo, but what I've also uh, learned is, you know, your name is very important. And people ask me, what well, number is important? The name is, well, both are important, but your name vibration, right? how it vibrates in the universe is also very, very important. Right? Okay, Jesse, I have a question for you then, because I have always been curious because I was adopted as a baby. Uh -huh. My birth name that my birth mother gave me was Marie Antoinette. Mm -hmm. And Marie Antoinette is the gal that got her head chopped off. There's not really good energy with that. Mm -hmm. But then after I was adopted, mm -hmm. My name is now Susan Jean, mm -hmm. and then my previous married name, which is no longer, but it's my birth name is Susan Jean. And I had been thinking about this, Jesse. Everybody else has been naming me. Why don't I name myself and mm -hmm. have that? Yes, because Susan there's has frequencies in that, right? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, Susan has to be a little. Susan attracts the energy of, you know, sometimes cuts injuries, accidents, and other relationships kind of stuff, right? It comes with that. You know why with a lot of Mars energy there? It's got heavy Mars energy. And uh, so that 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 could be like, so you use Sue now, right? So yeah. Sue is a little more delicate, you know, it's more neutral than Susan, you know? Yeah, I've so, always used Sue. Yeah, that's a lot better, a lot better. And then, uh, then, then I can look at your name later. I have it, I'll, I'll look at that and I'll let you know. Okay. Yeah, but but then just just going back to uh, uh, you know how these name vibrations are, they're so important, right? Right. They're so important, and uh, you know we really have to, and that is the reason why we have to balance our names correctly. You know, our names have to be matched with our date of birth. You know, the vibration has to flow correctly. You know, for success, it's very important. Your names are very very important. You know, and um, a name that does not work with your basic energy will will, will not take you very far. And, uh, well, let's and can, give me let's give me a name like Sage Nicole or something. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that, and I'm like, well, everybody else is naming me. How about I just yeah. name myself, right? Of course, of course, yeah. We, we can look at that. Well, well, that'll take a little time to look at. That. We'll look at that. Absolutely, it's no problem. That is so fascinating. So you take names, not only from just human names. Mm -hmm. Uh, company names and you correlate is that the right yeah yeah right? yeah but, but correlate with the numbers yeah, yeah and yeah. then determine 
if one, if it's abundant, if it's a good match, how you can shift it and tweak it. You also talked about number patching, yeah. which is a unique gift to you that you yeah. offer your clients as well. I want yeah. to remind everybody how to get a hold of you and they can, I'm going to spell it out. And also if you guys are driving, just go to claritywithsue.com and you'll get all the information, but it's Jesse, J-E-S-S-E. And the last name is K-A-L-S-E. I dot com. I just want to make sure. And you can get his book from there as well and also on Amazon, correct? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yes. The power okay. of home numbers and all about the numbers. But you were also saying, I want to swing back around, Jesse. You were saying it's not really a how-to. Can you kind of talk about that and what's in there? Because you were talking about the numbers and then we kind of went off on a different tangent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. So, you know, so this book has a lot of information or it's a lot of applied information is how, how, how I've applied uh, this knowledge to to, to real life uh, examples and real life people you know and uh, and they say so they all um, they all uh, there's information about all kinds of clients that I've met and their basic numerologies and what happened and how it shifted right in different situations you know they've the students they're you know business people they are of, you know, people who got married and then, you know, all kinds of situations, right? How numbers, I've tried to explain the interaction of numbers, right? How they flow and where they don't flow, you know how it is? So that is, and most people are very aware, you know, I mean, most readers are very astute and intelligent, you know, they'll figure things out very quickly. The second one, all about numbers, you know, all, you, all that you have to do is get the, that Kaldian code. I haven't put the Kaldian code there, but the code is available online. I've mentioned that, that I've used Kaldian code in this book to calculate the numbers and letters, which they all can find out, right? And and and, and do a little research themselves. You know, they can apply it to themselves. What happens is I've seen over the years, once you get into this business of numbers and numerology, right? It's like a whole world opens up, right? And then you... Well, that's any modality, right? It's just, yeah. it's, a, it's a frequency and, it, and, and, I, and the language that I use it can feel sticky. It can feel yeah, heavy. Yeah, it can feel yeah. thick, and yeah. you want it to be light and abundant, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But then you want to learn a lot too, and you know, you, then when you look at things, and you, know, you look at numbers everywhere. You know, you want to, oh, I bet. It's just like that, right? And uh, and and I'm and you, but but I'm, I'm but you definitely learn a lot from my books. You know, you will definitely learn a lot, and and uh, and you'll get the value out of both the books and you know, you'll really get the value out of it you know, so, yeah and a healing another it's just another modality to help you on your journey that healing journey it's an education yeah. and it also opens you up to new realms new frequencies yes. new ideas right yes, yes and if, if absolutely and it's the power of home numbers and all about the numbers and also jesse <laughs> Uh, you can go to his website as well. If you're interested in getting an in-depth reading, maybe you are an entrepreneur, you're a new mom, a new dad, naming businesses, kids, all of that stuff. Yes, exactly. Yes. All of it. Yeah. Most yeah. Right. Well, how that's fascinating about helping new parents and talking to them about naming their child. Oh, yeah. The that, power that behind that. Too. That what is that? Too. Talk to me about that, Jesse. So what see what happens is I've had a lot of you know East Indian people here, you know, what happens the child is born. So but but the child is born here in the United States, so they give you very, very little time. They say the child is born, you have 24 hours to name the child, right? And, and so whatever little time, right? And then they'll quickly, you know, they'll go and consult their priest and then they get the first letter. And then they the date of birth is the first, and then they give you the option to look at these names and see which one would be the best one. And then you kind of play with letters a little bit and get to the best vibration right and make a suggestion and so i've done this very uh, quite a few times you know for children for young kids and children you know and uh and some kids have grown up and gone into very good colleges too so. oh good yeah. and that's a positive right it's yeah, just more positive. expansion that is the intention, yeah. right? you have a good name right in the beginning your life becomes so much better you know, and say it's so much better and yeah. see that's what i'm talking about everybody else is naming me how about yeah. i name me or mm -hmm. Jesse, you helped me switch that frequency, I will do that my you. ownership, right? Yeah. And big anchoring words for me and, and where I teach and, and my foundation is how I'm showing up, but authentic and genuine to me, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And really reclaiming that and owning yeah. that. Yes, you will, you will. You absolutely will. Just watch, things will change, yeah. Yeah, you will. 
Yay. <laughs> yes, change. I, yeah, I, I mean, and the world, ah, ooh, something just popped in. Mm. What about, was there conversation about the 9-11 that happened? Is there numbers, the nine and the 11? Is there, did you know that this was happening? Can you talk? I mean, I'm just curious. I don't know why that popped into my head, but obviously we know yeah, about 9-11. 9-11, just as a number, you know, well, we know 9-11, 9 is a certain number, but right. 9-11, see what happens to you. Uh, that energy of uh, sun repeating two times as Mars, you know, is kind of, becomes heavy, you know, it just becomes too, there's too much fire there, you know, how it is. Both yeah. are very warm energies. Nine's got Mars energies, and the two ones have sun energy. So there's a lot of heat there, you know. It's, yeah, it's very, it's very heavy. Energy. Interesting that it, there's a lot of heat and then look what happened. That's, yeah. that's interesting. Mm -hmm. What about, and then even if we did, you know, like a 911 call, there could mm -hmm. be heat or something devastatingly mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. What? So one, you're saying one is um, sun, sun, and seven because I'm looking at my numbers. That seven you is me. Neptune. Seven is Neptune. Neptune. Yeah. So so Neptune, I know it's uh, say in your case Neptune would be very good at her work on the root chakra. I know, and it, what happens is you can also wear a cat eye if you can get one cat eye sometimes. Yeah, you know? that'll. Work I know exactly which. Yeah. My uh, cat eye, you know it. The cat side, uh, you know, it, it protects you from the mystery, you know, some unknown energies will protect you from that. And then cat side is also very good. It works on the root chakra well. It, it attracts wealth as well, cat side. And it's quite magical, you know, and, but in your case, it will work with you. You'd be surprised. It will work very well with you. I, I love that you're validating that because I have been attracted to cat's eye and mm -hmm. it, it hasn't been in my awareness for a while. Mm -hmm. um, so I, it totally resonates with me. And I've got some beautiful... Um, gem shops in bend yeah. oregon and yeah. i'm gonna go straight there when i get yeah, back yeah, and get me yeah, some yeah, nice yeah. and then you're gonna send me the link so i can get my 18 faceted beads yeah yeah oh yeah you will love that Those, yes that's... and you say it's ruby one. a ruby on my right hand right ring yeah okay yeah that's a lot of famous celebrities you know you find i mean i know some i know someone in, in india as well they're very big ones and they've worn those uh that ring for in fact talking to this one guy just last week and She's showing me her ruby, right? And that works for her. That's why she's wearing it. And she's gotten so famous. I mean, it's like a mega star. She's known to over 2 billion Indians all over the world, you know, and huge, humongous. So that's that's the energy. And there's some others one I know also are very, very big stars, you know, in there. Just a couple are coming to mind right now are very, very, both wear rubies, so. But oh, interesting. Yeah. Is that a ruby on your pinky? I can't see what it, yes, no, not pinky. Yes, pinkies. I wear one too, I do. Yes, I, that's beautiful. Yeah, I wear one, yeah, I wear one. Nice. It works for me, see, uh, ruby works for me, because I, I'm, I'm an Aries like you, but I'm more in the middle, I'm April the 3rd, right? Oh, yeah. so you're a different Aries. And P.S., yeah. even though I'm fiery, I'm a really nice, loving Aries. Have I always been, you know, because ten we're fiery, you know, and we just kind of yeah. speak it as it is. Yeah. I've tempered that by learning yeah. clear communication yeah. the best that yeah. I can, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But this fire energy is good. It is. Yeah, it keeps you. Uh, it keeps you going, you know. And uh, yeah, yeah. So long as you just kind of keep yourself calm and not get very angry all the time with people, you know. I learned that myself. Right? <laughs> 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 that's why I teach what I most need to learn. And that's yeah. self-regulating tools, right? Yeah, yeah. And it is. We live in a 3G world similar to your modalities, whether yeah. it's wearing yeah. rubies and gold, talking about numbers. It's a modality to help yeah, you self-regulate, to help yeah. you yeah. sustain a frequency, an elevated yeah. uh, frequency, elevated emotions. I yeah. love that. Yeah. I absolutely yeah. love that. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to remind people how to get a hold of you. And of course, go to claritywithsue.com and you can get all the links and information there if you're driving. Uh, please do that because I don't want any accidents. You can go to Jesse's website and that is spelled J-E-S-S-E -S -S -E, and then K-A-L-S-I.com. You can also go to Amazon and I'm, I'm guessing they can just Google you. Yeah, and yeah of course. They, yeah, they Google me anytime. Right? Yeah. Very and cool. you are accepting clients. So you can go in and get your astronumerology done as well. You can get your numbers, your name checked out. I'm curious to hear what you have to say about Sue. Yeah, sure. And maybe I should rename myself. I don't know. We'll have that conversation. I'm yeah. excited to also get the link for the 18 faceted. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I will send it to you. I love that. I love that. 
Uh, we've got a couple more minutes. Jesse, I'd love to know where, where are you going from here? You've got your book, it's launched. Where you're going from here? Are you teaching? Are you doing public events? Is it, are you doing? Yeah, actually, events? you're getting a lot of, you know, meet lots of media, radio and television. And I'm working on another book, you know, writing some more. Trying to nice. Put, more comes in. I just want to document. Downloads. Right? Yeah. Download yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a question about naming a book too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a very good question. So this book that you, both my books, actually, the first one, The Power of Home Numbers, has the energy of Venus. And the second one, All About Numbers, that came out last year, it has the energy of Mars, my ruling planet. So if you look at the book, right, if you look at the, the color, you know, it's got that purple color, right? Purple is like the crown chakra. Yes. I have a lot of three energy, so I use that purple color there. And then the yellow is more for, you know, is the more sun energy, you know? So I put the purple and the yellow with a purpose. And then this turban that I wear is Mars energy and Mars is my ruling planet. So I used my colors on the book. Oh, see, I love that. Okay. Cause I've got another book coming out and I'm like, well, I'm thinking of colors and naming it and what that all looks like. And I should just come to you and we can dissect yeah, that. I, yeah, definitely. But you definitely need some strong sun energy there, which is, a gold or a yellow has to be there. Did you have some gold in your previous books? Gold on the book? I had purple. I didn't have gold. There were yeah, black and white images, but I'll put gold. gold and, yeah, gold or a strong yellow it has to be there in this book. And then okay, gold colors, and yellow. Yeah. That color. And then, of course, I mean, those colors and then another color. Um, you know, uh, see, because what happens is for book writing, right? You can't go to the root chakras, you know? You don't have the root chakras. You have to go to the higher chakras, you know? Because we, you know, we get attracted from the in the mind attracts, you know. The stomach doesn't attract, right? <laughs> the, the heart would, yeah, heart is emotion love, but it comes from here, right? The third eye, this chakra. So we need a shock higher chakra colors, you know, higher chakra colors. A higher frequency, a higher, higher frequency, frequency and that vibration. Is frequency. Yeah. yeah. Okay. In the book cover, yeah. In the book colors, got you. And attracting. Yeah, so that can be looked at. That's not a big deal. We can look at that. I love that. Okay, audience, are you catching all of this from naming your baby to naming your baby as a, a child or your company? I mean, Silicon Valley, the, the Pacific Northwest, we've got entrepreneurs. What about your next wine bottle or wine that you want to have? Your babies, um, your home, the home numbers, the company address and numbers. Um, also, Jesse talked about number patching. That is something special and a niche to him that we talked about and, and kind of alluded to before or at the beginning of the show. Um, I, I just, I love this conversation because it's just another tool, right? It's another tool. Yeah, it's another, another, absolutely. That's a very important tool. But your business cards as well, Sue. Yeah, business cards, the way you design your, your logos are very important too, you know? The way okay. you design them, the colors you have on your logos, and how the energy is showing, of course, the name of the business. The, and whatever business you have, right? The color, those colors should also go with that business, you know? So, uh, you know, it should work with those energies. Um See, like most real estate businesses, and they have a lot of. See, real estate business works from the root chakra, and we live, we'll be on the earth, right? Earth energy, so it's more root chakra energy, you know. Yeah. Right, and so you have to balance it out with the lighter. Yeah. 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 All right, audience. Well, we are going to wrap today's show up. Uh, It's been a beautiful blessing. Hang on just a minute and um, stay on hold for me for just a minute, Jesse. It's been a great blessing and a wonderful birthday gift to have Jesse on the show today. Uh, All of you, if you want to get more information, again, just go to claritywithsue.com. All that information will be there. Sign up for the newsletter so you can get that in your inbox. I only send you an email once a week. No spamming, good information. I pull cards. We can set the intention for the the week. It's beautiful. And I call it my love bumps because I'm giving you some love bumps. So with that, go to claritywithsue.com. Get all the information that you desire. Uh, It's been a great birthday show. So to all of you, I'll see you next week. Jesse, thank you so much. Thank you. you And um, I really appreciate the conversation, the education, your books. Stay in the rank. Uh, keep showing your light. And to all of you out there in the radio world, each of you are a gift. Get out there and share yourself with the world.